Okay. Thinking of our oh, videos to do this week. Um, I know I was going to talk about cameras at some point. I'm going to talk about actually photography and going out and maybe shooting. I'm not sure where that is yet. However, comma this week on Friday, there's a photography pop up show and there's going to be a number of uh, photographers showing some stuff. Uh, this is my second go around here in San Antonio doing this on oh, my third. I think it's my second. And um, I have a bunch of stuff framed in this room. Uh, and I'm gonna go through how I frame for this specific show, what I changed up, and a couple of the things that um, I'm just trying to learn as I go through this and some of the stuff that I've developed and changed and hopefully will make the images stand out and just be better. So kick back, here we go. Okay, so let's start with this thing. This is a 13 by 19 print. I can't remember the size of the frame. Glass wood frame, very straightforward. No matting. All I did was print it out with a white border and put it in the frame. Not too much more to it. Um, but that is, instead of filling the whole frame, that is the image with a white border. So let's zoom in right there. Boom. That's the first one. Okay, next. Next we have these images, right? So we got these three. Um, these were for a show last month. And these are 18 by 19 as well. But these are matted. Um, and this time I did plexiglass instead of glass. And I know some people shun on that. They'd rather have the glass, but um, I just wanted to give it a shot, see how it worked. It looks really good. Um, prints came out very well. Obviously the same size, I printed all at home. Um, and then I like the way it looks with the mat. So once again, no mat, just printed with a white border. And then probably over the game, dizzy matted right so this is matted plexiglass frame okay we're going to move over here of course i got the dog here and we're gonna go here here we go we'll put this right here this is similar to the one up there so once again 13 by 19 um this however is printed and framed to fit Right, so no spacing, no mat, glass, wood frame. It's pretty cool. Um, these work as well. <sighs> okay, we got another series. Then we have something like this. Then we have these. These, we'll just stand this back up. These are yeah, 13 by 19s in a matted in a mat with the plastic sleeves, right? And uh, these are just sold like that, right? So this is when I'm not framing them. This is just put up a couple of static displays, put you know a couple of these out, kind of like so, and uh, just have them laying out and sell them. They do fairly well too. Uh, those are pretty straightforward. And now, you know what's the funniest thing? Is that I have this right here. This gimbal that my buddy lent me. Yet I'm walking around holding this thing on a tripod. Okay, but for this show, this is what we're doing. Let's get some lights in here. Okay, for this show, we're doing 11 by 14s matted and framed shameless plug to my buddy albert and his uh cool mugs he just got i'll put his link on the bottom he does amazing paintings here locally okay so let me sit down right here so these are a little different this is totally different this go around so what i'm trying to do this time let's move this over is um 
These are also, I think, these are glass, right? Glass frames. Um, but this time around, I did a couple of things. I put these little tabs in the corner. So when people frame them, they don't like scratch up their walls. I also decided to tape and seal uh, the frames. You know, it's not like the best work, but I'm just thinking about, you know, giving them a little bit longer of a shelf life and sealing it doesn't allow the um, dust to get in there. Oh, but let me tell you, before you seal it off, just make sure you clean and wipe off the glass really well because I did not the first time and I had to take these apart like three or four times. And then these piece, this sucker. Let me see if I can get this. So these are the hinges that these frames come with. I think they're kind of flimsy and cheap and I'm really always afraid that they're gonna peel off or fall. So I bought these, uh, I screwed them in and uh, they're way good. So um, that's also another thing that I did this time around. So kind of reinforced, not just um, making sure that there's no real cracks or seams in these things. I put these little corners and then reinforce the tab. Um, and that's this go around. Now these are only two of the five that I have coming out. So hope, hopefully they uh, do well. I know this is kind of a weird angle, but here we go. So that's what we have, right? I showed you guys the first go around um, frames. Uh, printed with a border straight up um, then we have uh, images printed with no border and just to fit the frame those look okay too um, also have uh, the printed with the two inch mats um, more of a typical gallery shoot I would say um, and then I also showed you guys the prints in the board with the mat in the plastic sleeves. Those are more static displays, put them out there, let people look at them and they, and they also do fairly well. Um, and then these last ones, which is just go around uh, different size also. These are 11 by 14. It's a little harder to find frames for them, but you can. And then um, tipping off the edges, putting the little corner pieces and reinforcing the hangers. Uh, that's what we're trying to do this time. Hopefully at the show, I'll get some footage and maybe I'll tag it on the back of this uh, video, but I think I'm just going to try to edit this, get it turned around and post it uh, before the show. Maybe next week will just be a follow-up of how the show went. Maybe get some footage on that and um, I don't know, maybe that's what it'll be. We'll see. I'm, like I said, I'm just winging this stuff. So thanks for hanging in there um, and I'll see you guys next time.